everyone, welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. I hope that you all had a great Mother's Day and I took some time off to spend time with my daughter who was visiting from Ohio. So um, now that she's gone back home, I have started doing some more DIYs and I have, I think, four videos in progress for you. I have this one today and then uh, Look for Less Challenge is coming up. That will be posted on Thursday. So be watching for that. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so that you'll be notified when I do upload those videos. So I like to add some decorative items to my flower beds and planters in my lawn, but they can be pretty pricey. So I've come up with three projects just to add some color and fun to my flower beds and uh, I hope that you will enjoy these projects. All of them are less than $5 to make and really easy. So let's just jump right in and get started. For Mother's Day, my daughter bought me this really cute solar light and I really love it, but I think she paid probably around $20 for it. And if you wanted to have quite a few of these in your yard, then that could get pretty spendy. So I decided to try and come up with my own inexpensive version. For these, I will be using two of these solar stakes that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I also picked up this hummingbird hook and this other little garden stake with the butterfly at Dollar Tree. I will be using some little zip ties and I don't know if I got these at Dollar Tree or not, but I have seen them there so you can get them there. And I will be using a combination of E6000 and hot glue and I will also be using a pair of wire cutters. First I'm going to use my wire cutters and I am going to use that to remove the hummingbird from the wire hook and there's just a couple of little metal tabs on there uh, holding it on and you can just snip those and then the the bird will come off all in one piece off of the wire. Then I'm going to remove the tags from my stake and I'm going to position the hummingbird. Uh, there's really no right or wrong, just kind of wherever you think it looks good and wherever um, it will give you a surface to glue the hummingbird to the solar stake. To glue this on, I'm going to be using E6000 because it's going to be out in the weather and I want it to um, have a really strong bond. And so I'm going to use mostly E6000 and then I will come in with a little bit of the hot glue just to help hold it in place while that E6000 is drying. And I let this dry overnight so it was good and strong. For the second stake, I'm going to leave the stake I bought at Dollar Tree with the butterfly on it all in one piece. I'm going to remove my labels from my solar stake and then uh, just pull that bottom out and stick it back in the other way so that you have the full length of the, the stake. And then I'm just going to kind of lay this up against the solar stake and decide how I want it positioned. And then I will be using the zip ties to hold it on. And uh, I will just put a couple of zip ties around the bottom of the stake to hold it in place. Then I'm going to use some E6000 and wherever the stake, uh, the metal part of that butterfly stake is touching the solar light, I'm going to add a little bit of E6000. And um, I didn't show it in the video, but I ended up putting a rubber band around this to hold it, just something to tie it tight um, so that it stayed um, up against each other for the whole time that the the uh, glue was drying. I did add a little bit of hot glue, but I just uh, it wanted to try and pull apart, so I did um, add that extra rubber band while it was drying. And again, I let this dry overnight. 
I snipped off the ends of those zip ties and this one is all finished. So I know these are not as elaborate as the one my daughter bought for me, but seriously, these cost like $2 to make. So um, it just adds a pop of color in my garden and I love how it looks. And then I still get the solar light at night. And uh, so I think it's the best of both worlds. For my second project, I wanted something to raise this flower pot up off the ground so give it some height. And so I decided just to um, take a couple of large planters from Dollar Tree and put them together to make a stand for this uh, flower pot. I'm a little embarrassed that you can see how badly our house needs painted in this shot, but that is our project for Memorial Day weekend. So it will get better and I can't wait. For this project, I picked up two of these big bright green planters from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using E6000 and hot glue and since I don't want the planters to be bright green, I'm going to be using this hammered uh, spray paint from Rust-Oleum. It's kind of a bronze color. First, I'm going to position the planters together, one upside down. So basically the bottoms of the planters are together and I'm going to use E6000 all around the bottom of um, the planters and then a little bit of hot glue and glue them together and let it sit and dry overnight. And I would recommend putting something heavy in the top planter just to uh, help hold them together while the glue is drying. Once the glue is thoroughly set, I'm just going to take some sandpaper and go over this just to rough up the plastic a little bit so that the spray paint will adhere a little bit better. Then I'm just wiping off the, the dust with a cloth and then it'll be ready to paint. I sprayed mine with a couple of coats of this Rust-Oleum Hammered Finish spray paint and I really like the way this finish turns out. It's not a real smooth finish. It just looks more like metal. And I did decide to spray uh, down inside a little bit uh, because uh, if I wanted to just plant flowers directly in this, then that would ensure that none of the green showed through. So here's the finished planter and I have it set in place and I'm just going to add some rocks in the uh, top planter to help weight it down a little bit so it's not uh, too light on the bottom and top heavy with that planter on the top. And then I'm just going to set that terracotta planter that I already had planted flowers in right in the top of this. I really like the height that this planter um, gives my potted plant and um, I think when these flowers uh, grow out and start cascading over the pot, uh, it's just going to look really beautiful. And the best thing is it only cost me $2 because I already had the paint. If you needed to buy the paint, you can get it for 3 or $4 at Walmart. And so for 5 or $6, you could make this plant stand or you could use it as a planter itself. My last project is this cute little garden fence or trellis that I made from three items from Dollar Tree. I picked up this little wire trellis as well as this metal flower welcome sign and also um, a little flower wind chime is what they call it because it has the little bell like chime on the bottom. And I'll be using some of this floral wire. I believe I picked this up at Walmart for just a couple dollars. 
as well as some wire cutters. And I found it helpful to use some pliers. These are actually my jewelry making pliers and I'll have the link in the description box below if you wanna pick some of these up at Amazon. They're really cheap and I use them all the time. So for my first step, I'm going to cut off the wire hanger on the top and the welcome sign is a little bit flimsy, so you want to have a good pair of wire cutters to snip off this. I actually had a little trouble with the sign wanting to bend, so um, you just kind of want to be careful when taking this off. Then I'm going to use my pliers and just separate the flower from the welcome sign uh, just by unhooking them from the little chains. And I did the same thing with the flower wind chime and separated all of the parts. Then I'm just going to take a few little pieces of wire and I'm going to place my, my welcome sign and my flowers onto the trellis. And then I'm just going to wire them onto the trellis using the holes that are already in the um, flowers and sign. After those pieces are on, then I decided just as a finishing touch to add the little bell wind chime and hang it from the side of the trellis and I just think this is a great finishing touch. I really like how this turned out. I think it was a great value because I was able to use all of the pieces from those flowers and it's just an interesting, fun little addition to my flower garden. I hope you liked these three easy garden DIY projects. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up and I'd love to hear in the comments below which one was your favorite or if you think that you'll try any of these. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting that subscribe button and also the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.